Uh, move over, Swanson. I'm driving. Wow! Wow! Hey, Swell! My thing is bigger than your whole world! Welcome back to the Caddyshack Minute, the podcast in which we discuss and critique the movie Caddyshack, one minute at a time. I am your co host, Tom Taylor, and with me are Mike DeMaria and Dan Lewis. McFinish. <laughs> And as you can tell, we are here to discuss Minute 9 of Caddyshack. And Minute 9 of Caddyshack begins with uh, Judge Smales witnessing the flag at the 14th hole getting sucked down by a gopher. And it ends with Carl the Green slacking off. Whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah, it slacking. ends with Carl slacking off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's slacking off behind the bushes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dr. Well said. Blacking <laughs> off in public. Well, it's a private course. Yeah. I, mean, I assume he's about to get arrested. We don't Damn see what happens the next minute. But, uh, I, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we were right on the brink of seeing greatness from Judge Smales uh, in minute eight. And now all our chickens come home to roost. Judge mm-hmm. Smales uh, driving by, having probably the nicest morning of his life, just having a pleasant, pleasant time. Witnesses this uh, gopher who <laughs> looks like he's crisscrossed that one part of the green like a thousand times. <clears throat> it's just a, uh, a zigzag of madness going on. And, uh, yeah, he sees the flag disappear. And this is, you know, we were early in the movie, but this might be the single best edit in the entire movie. <laughs> when you see the flag go down, and they cut back to Judge Smales in <laughs> mid freak out, yeah. like it's yeah, not like, great. oh my gosh, they get him like, gosh, <laughs> like it's he's a fabulous out. like double take. It's really yeah, because 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 when he gets out of the car, he's still trying to figure out what's going yeah. on. Yeah, huh? he's troubled, but when the flag disappears, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like already trotting across like <laughs> <laughs> Sandy McFittish. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Sandy McFinish, I do, I do believe we brought up the Tam O'Shanter before. Yeah, that's true. I believe he does have a Tam O'Shanter. It does yeah. have the fuzzy ball on top. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a nice tartan. Co- it's a nice tartan print. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's just sweating his balls off too. If you <laughs> like, what was he <laughs> just <laughs> doing? Yeah, <laughs> and he's in full tie and jacket, but he's just his hair is matted down with sweat and it's beating yeah. up on his head. Yeah. It I does. think he's been out there really getting worried about the gopher problem. Yeah, maybe right. he knew about it already. And he was waiting for somebody to notice. Right. He's been sweating. Say maybe, they, maybe, maybe they won't notice, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the gopher tearing up the, 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 the green. Yeah. Right. Like a shark in the waters. Uh-huh. We openly wondered what Smales' position at the golf club was. Was he just a, a, a regular, longtime member, deeply... Uh, in, ensconced in the uh, in the politics of the place, or as suggested, he, he gets out of his car and just starts barking orders. This suggests he has a perhaps he's the director or some sort of uh, president. He's the board, yeah, yeah. He's on yeah. the. Can you own a country club? Is there like an owner of a country club or a president of a country club? Yeah, you, I don't know. Can you buy Bushwood? Okay, settle down. <laughs> um, when he's, and when he's speed, he's speed walking across the... Oh, it's great. <laughs> stiff he, leg. Yeah, stiff speed leg. And he, really, speed really walking. Yeah. Yeah. And he's he just he's beside himself with anger. He's gotten all dressed up in his three-piece suit. Yeah. He's got into his Rolls Royce. And like Tom yeah. said, he's having a nice sunny day. Yeah. And everything goes south right away. <laughs> and it's not just a regular gopher problem. It's a gopher. It'll take the entire pin... And flag, just steal it right out of the thing. It's very, yeah. it's a really great, like cartoonish sight gag. Yeah, it's like from a cartoon. Like yeah. did that gopher dig a hole as long as the pole first, so that it could actually fall all the way down like that. <laughs> right, he's got designs on stealing it, and he's <laughs> moving it over to where he dug the hole. So yeah, he can drop it down. <laughs> and maybe he even timed it for when uh, Judge Smales is coming by. Right, for maximum effect. And he thrusts that finger skyward as he's power walking <laughs> across the green. No, wait, what's the guy's name? The green sweeper? San- Sandy McFittish. Mc- <laughs> McFittish. McFittish, yeah. And, he, and his finger points straight up as he screams McFittish. Finish. Is this his, like, um, like one of two scenes that he's in or something? 
Who, McFittish? Yeah. He's barely in this movie. <laughs> he's yeah, he's in a couple. Of... Tops. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Interesting. And McFittish yeah. uh, immediately blames the uh, Trivic construction <laughs> site. And we get a, a very obvious, uh, like, could have been filmed absolutely anywhere insert shot of this construction site. And mm-hmm. I was I had a note about that to make fun of it, like haha, what a weak obvious insert that, you know, was taken anywhere. But then when they cut back to these two guys in the background behind uh Yeah, you see the bulldozer. Yeah, there's a bulldozer back there. So it's like that could be right there. And if yeah. you look at yeah, it you it it, 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 po- it points out the Chervic and it like looks over and it's like it might as well be Hong Kong. Exactly. Like the buildings yeah. look all out of place and it's like <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> you turn and it's like you turn. Oh, there's a there's a there's a bustling metropolis right next. To <laughs> yeah, it was during the Hong Kong building boom of the 1940s. Yeah, sure. And then if you and if you look, and then you look behind Mc, McFittish, and there's this mud right behind him, and it's wet behind him, and it makes the car like Bushwood look like crap. Yeah, yeah. It's like the cervic construction work is bleeding over into the golf course. Yeah, and it also they like slap an injunction on them. <laughs> they also separate it. They they do again. Give you that sense of place by separating the the construction site from the golf course with the the bushes in the foreground to give it mm-hmm. a sense of like it's just past those bushes, it's just over there. Right. Yeah. It's like all the change that happens in this movie was already inevitable, and uh, even if uh, the events of this movie hadn't taken place, uh, you know, there's a big ugly construction site. Right on the other side of the bushes, you can see the cars on their way to Seven Eleven. It's all it's all cr- crumbling at Bushwood. It's all coming yeah. down. And, I, and if I'm not mistaken, it was in, you're, like you're you're right because it was encroaching already. Because if you can see behind the conservative construction site is what appears to be a kind of one of those ugly office park uh, high rises. Yeah, uh, it's it's been there for a while, and Cervix just he just bought the parcel on the other side of that next to the golf course. On the good He's side. Down. On the good side. <laughs> well, here's a question. He, he, he hustles over there and he says, do you know what gophers can do to a golf course? Do we know what gophers can do to a golf course? <laughs> Is this like a common thing? Yeah. You know, it, it's when you open up your box, welcome to your brand new golf course. Yeah. Be sure. Yeah, yeah. Be sure to keep gophers out of there because right. we all know what gophers <laughs> can do to a golf course. Make sure you hire yourself a Scotsman to keep gophers away. Yeah. <laughs> Not an Irishman, a Scotsman. Right. Scotsman not included. I'm going to have to yeah. correct you there, Mike. He does not ask, do you know what gophers can do to a golf course? He goes, do you know what gophers can do to a golf course? That might be the line I say just as a non sequitur the most often from this movie. Do you know what gophers can do to a golf course? <laughs> and this acting and from and moment yeah. one yeah. Is, is absolute yeah. genius. Yeah, it's he, great he, from the he, second yeah. you see him. Yeah, he's on stage, man. <laughs> Even in Cat in a Hot Tin Roof, it, keeps, it takes a couple of minutes to see yeah. Marlon Brando right. really get going. He comes right up, fired up. <laughs> but he comes out shot out of a cannon. He, he, he comes up power, power walking across the, the golf course. I'll be looking for you new You have to keeper. warm up for that walk. Like you had to do some. You got to warm up before you if leg power walk. Almost a. There's almost like a. Uh, what are those? The German, the German soldiers yeah. type of walk. Yeah. He goose, gets, goose step. He's, a, he's a goose stepping across the green, across the fairway, and he's it's, and he's doing it very vigorously. And, and a man of his age should have to do a little bit of warm up before you get to that point. Yeah. Is it wrong to say he might be my favorite character in this movie? He might be. I know it's Rodney's movie, but Judge Smales might be my favorite character. Yeah. It's between those two for me. Well, well, they go at it. They they, they need each other in this movie. As a little mm-hmm. tease, I'll let you know that I think Judge Smales has arguably my favorite line out of any movie in this movie. But I'm not going to say what it is. What do you think of that? That's fine. Whatever yeah. you want. Tantalizing. That's one of them. Bye, Bushwood. You, you. Yeah, oh, so then we cut to the other star of the movie. We get Bill Murray. Carl, what's his name? Spangler? Carl Spangler. Carl Spackler. 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 No one knows. Somebody look no, it's it up. Spackler. It is Spackler. Spackler. Yeah. Spackler. What's great about this is, I mean, there's some really good. I have to say, he is a. He's the other best actor in the movie. Yeah. He can really. 
he sort of says he just gets the lines off at just the right time, just as the the uh, older uh, woman hits the ball. He goes, "Oh, you're a little tramp," like that. Like just <laughs> yeah. does it. And it's just it's brilliant. It's just like really funny. I guess <laughs> this is probably at least semi improvised kind of work here. Yeah, like a lot of his stuff. Um, and I think if you look from the shot behind Spackler. I'm pretty sure that Denunzio is caddying for these ladies. Uh, that would uh, that would keep with uh, what we see later, I guess. Denunzio seems to always get stuck with the uh, the elder. Well, these ladies aren't exactly elderly. Well, they're borderline elderly. elderly. They're, they're borderline. Yeah, they're definitely yeah. they they're a little more spry. ARP, but you wouldn't call them elderly, right? They're retired persons. <laughs> yes, they are retired persons. Matrons. And you just see that 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 shock of of black hair. Yeah, the caddy. You can't tell. You don't. I can't tell if it's Denunzio necessarily because he's. I don't know if he's smoking or has dress shoes on. That's not. I don't <laughs> think that's. I don't think that's Denunzio. You don't really. Denunzio? No, it's one of the. If if you go to the, uh, if you go to the, uh, the 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 cast. There's, I think there's like four or five Denunzios. <laughs> right. So you don't, you don't know if it's Tony Denunzio. <laughs> no, and there's some that are that are girls that look like boys mm-hmm. and That's boys true. that look like girls. I don't know That's if this was a sight gag as well. That's my kind of movie. No, because because if you look at the, the Denunzio group here, like some of the – some of the – like Angie Denunzio was played by Peter Burkrot. Yes. Oh. So yeah. so there's a little little something going on here with the Denunzios. <laughs> and Joey I, Joey Denunzio was played by an actress named Minerva. Yeah, and, she's the one who you think she's a yeah, boy you shave your ass. except uh you're not fooled at all. Yeah, she's the one that screams you shave your ass. Yeah. Oh, is that right? So that's yeah. Denunzio's that's sister. A, Denunzio. so really a, a big un, unruly yeah. That uh, that middle Denunzio, that actor, was recently on um, a podcast. Uh, uh, I was there too, uh, by Matt Gorley, where he interviews people who are, you know, sort of minor actors, maybe in big movies or big important scenes. Uh-huh. And he interviewed him about Caddyshack, and it was pretty cool. Check that out. Ditch oh, this big. podcast immediately and listen to a different one. Yeah, we're like. Uh... We're that we're here to help. We're you know we're here to get you to the right podcast. Well, here's okay, right. for, since since we're on the, the the number of denunzios. Now you go back to the original. How many kids were in that house? How many mm-hmm. of those kids were denunzios? Jesus, that's a good yeah, question. You, right. I'm surprised that denunzio like, wasn't the one who was bringing back her training bra. That would have been a good yeah, little not, uh, seed to plant. Yeah, it's Peter Scolari. It was, I went back and listened to it. He goes, Scolari. He says, he says it's Scolari. It's, it's Pete Scolari, though, too. It's Pete's, not just Scolari. He goes, Pete Scolari will bring it here. Pete Scolari. So that's a little shout out to Bosom Buddies. Sure. See, that's it's great. all perfectly normal. That's right. There's Angie Denunzio, Joey Denunzio, and Tony Denunzio. Oh, <laughs> you don't get no coke. But I thought Denunzio had a brother in there, too. Yeah, there is. It's, it's, yeah, that first one. It's the, it's the it's the guy that uh, that Carl has the pitchfork up against his throat. Yeah, no fighting. Maybe so, but I see only three Denunzios listed in the uh, in the cast. Right, Tony and three. two girls. And it's Joey. Oh, Peter! Wait, so Peter Burkrot is a boy? Is Angie no. Denunzio is a boy? I don't know, but I think yeah. I actually think Maybe. Motormouth is is. A Denunzio. Oh, Motormouth might be a Denunzio, only he's called think, Motormouth in this. Wait, who the hell's I, Motormouth? I think that's the, the guy with the pitchfork in his neck. Yeah. That's Motormouth? I don't know. I, don't I thought know. he had a name. We're, we're going to have to find it's out. It's a good thing we're studying this movie minute by minute because we have a lot to learn. I don't get this. Are. I've got a guy named Peter Burkrot here who's playing yeah. a character called Angie. Yeah, I mean, there's you, not a lot of boys named Angie. If you just heard me uh, two minutes ago, I said that. <laughs> you said that, but you said that you would. Uh... Yeah, I just said that there's some there's some denunzios here that are played by men that are actually girls, and girls, oh. the, the the actress is a girl, and and you know it's Joey. 
Sam um, was listening to a different podcast just then. Well, I was, well, yeah, I switched was over to the other to the, podcast that yeah. uh, Tom said that would be good. to hear that interview. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's totally fair. <laughs> no, I thought you meant something else that where you can't tell whether who's a boy or girl. I got you. Lou Loomis. I guess you do. I guess you do. Yes, I don't. Here's another, like, I think, Harold Ramis and, the, and kind of going blue, working a little blue here. Mm-hmm. When he's uh, when he's pumping that thing, listen to the sound effects. <laughs> Sounds a little squishy and a little. Well, a little he's masturbating, bit. isn't he? The you ball see, wash. Yeah, but the ball washer sounds a lot like. Uh, oh, the a, ball washer. Yeah, it sounds a little realistic. Really? <laughs> How would you well, know, Mike? What are you doing like? in the bathroom so long? I'm playing with the ball washer. All right, the water then. running. Yeah. I'm washing <laughs> the, the balls. water for 45. Minutes. You can't be the first person to have made that joke at a country club or any golf course. I'm sure every male older than 11 years old has made that joke. What's her name again? Which one? What's the woman's name that he's watching? Oh, <laughs> oh the woman that the woman that Carl Spackler's watching? Yeah. Does he say? Yeah. Mrs. Uh, Crane, up. Mrs. Crank, Mrs. Crane, something like that. You wore green so that you could hide. You could try to hide. <laughs> and his back's all sweaty. <laughs> Yeah, he's all <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Another another very very uh, carefully yeah. composed, carefully chosen bushes. Yeah. For the third time in three minutes, <laughs> the bushes are used in a, in a great way. What's funny is those women that he's watching are exceedingly normal and natural. There's like nothing <laughs> funny about them at all. They're like, oh, that could be my mom and her friends. Yeah. <laughs> he's sitting here washing his balls to them. It's yep. great. Yeah. This, this, this is this is McFin- this is McFinish's best man. <laughs> I'll put my best man on it. I'll put my best man on it. <laughs> cut to they cut away to the best, best man. man. I'll slap an injunction on them. Hey, what's an injunction, by the way? I don't know. I'm not a judge. You're a lawyer. That's a go. You? Well, let's do a thing. Where cease we, and cease. I, and I just uh, pretend like I know what it is a little bit, and okay. then I can try to explain. An injunction is. A court order that, in lieu of proceedings that will determine the final result of it, the injunction happens to sort of say, let's put this in place for now. Let's see how this thing works out before we decide whether it's going to be permanent or not. It, it's just a guess. That was beautifully said, and I'm sure it was 100% accurate. And I take mm-hmm. it as fact. Thank you, Dan. That was beautiful. Oh, it's just great to see smells. You know, it really is. Yeah. I was so concentrated on Smales and how we're finally getting to him that I, I forgot that we're getting to Carl, too. This is, yeah. this is this is Caddyshack all of a sudden. Yep. And the first mention of Al, Al Cervic. They mentioned the yeah. actual company that's doing the construction, not like, oh, that construction over there. More like, Cher- not Cher- Cher- not Cervic construction. Yeah. Yeah. That loud, obnoxious boob? Right. <laughs> that dopey guy who wears the funny clothes and makes great one-liners? He gets no respect. From me, you know, that's something I, I thought. So going back to when uh, McFinish is saying, "I'll put my best man on it," and he walks away, and you can see in the background, you said you saw the bulldozers and whatnot. There's like a Dodge Challenger sitting out there. <laughs> it's just like parked right next to the tree, like by the construction site. Yeah, I made a little. I just looked at my note and I saw that. There, yeah, it just looked like uh, somebody had pulled that Challenger up there. I don't know if it's a Dodge Challenger. It's like a, a muscle car just mm-hmm. sitting there. I don't know. That's when one of the bull, you know, the guys driving the, you know, the the backhoe or something. But it's just <laughs> it, it, if, you, if we keep noticing the proximity that it is to the road, the proximity yeah. it is to Bangkok, yeah, right next to there with the, all that, just like that cityscape of it's like you turn it's like he just points out of that Shervik, and it's right there. Wait. So yeah. you're saying that you're saying that the car the, the car is there? Or the, the, you're just talking about the construction. I'm side. talking about everything in general. Yeah, it's like the outside world is like right on top of Bushwood, but then yeah. you turn the camera turns and it's like this quiet little oasis. But then you see the car go zipping by in the background. Well, I mean, even yeah. besides for the zipping by, isn't there a car? If you look at the shot of Sandy McFinish, yeah, there's. I'm saying there's, there's a, a car. car part, yeah, in, it's like in the it's background. Like Christie is waiting to run them over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what it is? It's like a muscle car just sitting there. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's right. 
Just ready. To, it's a couple of kids ready to do donuts the second that you cut your <laughs> and, that, and you know what? Now that I think about it, the, if you look at the mud in the background, there is there is some like tire tracks in the mud right behind McFittish. Right. So maybe yeah. those are the. Yeah. So maybe that's where the kids do the donuts right over there. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's sweating about. <laughs> maybe just maybe, chase those kids out of here. Maybe yeah, that's they what get we into the Pontiac in. GTO and they do some mud and. <laughs> and maybe what was going on was. Much worse than Judge Schmel seeing the, the gophers. Yeah. So Sandy is actually relieved that he didn't notice that these kids were doing donuts in the background. Sandy's on the job. Sandy's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> and he knows it. That's why he's dripping with sweat. He is very sweaty. And it's a sign of the times. This is a time, late 70s, where the kids are starting to get out of control, like in Days yeah. to Confuse, and people aren't able to control them anymore. And you know what? Let's be honest. This wasn't the best time for the, for the Scotsmen. You know, they had it rough here. Did they? I don't know. I just made it up. And <laughs> everything just got quiet. <laughs> Too, <Scots>. soon. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon to make stuff up about the Scots. <laughs> How's your day going, Mike? Yeah. You having a good day? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Huh. Just asking, expressing interest in you, your day-to-day yeah. doings. Let's play high-low. Okay. Uh, I play this with the kids. Uh, with my girlfriend's kids where it's sort of like you, you say, what was the worst part of your day and what was the best part of your day? What was oh, the high low? Oh, interesting. I'll have yeah. to write that one down. Well, why don't you <laughs> tell us, Mike, what the lowest point of your day was first. Let's end on the high point. So it's, it's high low sounds better, but really it's low high. You want to start with the low? Do you really want to start with the low? No, no, <laughs> it's up to you. I'm just suggesting it as a way to go. You know, so, uh, hooray for the Douglases. <laughs> <laughs> you want to really want to know what the low is? I mean, not if it's really, if it's really, really bad. I don't want to hear about it. You give us like the third <laughs> lowest. I yeah, saw that uh, die. I'll, I'll go for the third lowest. <laughs> okay, right. right. Just sat on the toilet. I don't. Cried, I, you, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I feel like you're sparing, to us. <laughs> you're sparing us by not playing this game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> you, you haven't talked about it at all. Yeah. Tom High has, low. He's got a house guest. And... Yeah, Tom's got a house guest. Yeah. You're playing high low with a bunch yet. of kids. A nightmare. I, put down, I, I log off this podcast and stare at the ceiling fan until <laughs> I fall asleep. <laughs> And wake up and try to squeeze into my work pants that no longer fit. We really want to play high low, Dan. Is that what you want to play? I kind of do. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Had the world by the ass about a year ago. Down to two hundred nine pounds, I was like a, a Greek god. Now I'm letting it all go again. Can't get in. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I told you I don't want to play this game. Are you bursting the seams? Yeah, I don't want to play this game. You got to get all new. You got to get all new pants. It's you know what? I, I, I was in the, the greatest shape. I took all my all my work clothes, sold them on eBay. I said I'm never going back to that dark, <laughs> deep, deep, dark place. Now I'm trying to find those buyers to get the clothes back. Right. <laughs> you got yeah. Now you look like the. Uh, <laughs> You really want to play high low, don't you? You really wanted to go there, didn't you? I'm just trying to see the weight loss. The those weight loss pictures. You look like the before guy now, except for you've got the after guy's clothes. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Mike's like, oh boy, it's almost nine o'clock. I finally got to just yeah, finally talk about Caddyshack with my friends. Yeah. It's gonna be the high point of my day. Yeah. Now, now I can I just, just go to like bed. About weight gain. Now I gotta go back. <laughs> I spent my you know what I did I spent my lunch hour at the at the at the Goodwill stuff shop trying to buy buy some cheap fat pants. <laughs> yeah, he was on his way back because yeah, the can... train goes to O'Hare. He was on his way back from O'Hare where he had had a couple Cinnabons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you worry, I'll get back there. But it's not going to be. It's you're, no, no, you're very I'm, no. Yeah, I'm, I am very disciplined. So let's not. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Let's I, not. I, I, let's not I don't want to get into it, but I'm what? curious as to what, uh, how, did, how did it, how did it get it out now, of hand? How, how are you putting on the pounds now, Mike? Yeah, what is the culprit? Uh-huh. Have you gotten sedentary? Are I you eating these. wrong? No, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I think it's the second job. I didn't say I was worried. The second job. I barely care. 
Well, I think it's the it's the extra driving uh, job. Well, the Uber. Yeah, let's let's the let our Uber fans driving. out there. Our, you're our, sitting our, in a car. Our, our audience know. Yeah, I have to drive. I drive Uber. Make the ends meet. Some of my nicest friends are uh, Uber drivers. Yeah. We'll see. Don't worry about it. Because you get tired doing that. Because I used to drive a cab. You know, I drove a cab in college. Yeah, in, in Ann Arbor. You get in Ann Arbor, <laughs> Michigan, and you get you get tired even though you just sat there. Oh sure. Yeah. So that's the problem for me. <laughs> that might be the problem. So I, I was I at Goodwill. A couple pounds too. I, I was at a- Goodwill and I found okay. Here's one pair of pants. I go. Let me just splurge for the two ninety nine. That's going to cost for these used old shitty pants. And I just well, let's just get them big. And I said these will work. You know they're a little docker ish. You wear them for casual and 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 you know for work. I realized that my wallet at the desk. That was you want to talk to low point. There's your low point right there. What was <laughs> it? You finally said fun. Screw it. I'm just going to go to the goddamn Goodwill. I'm not going to. I'm going to spend four dollars on a pair of pants just to shame myself. <laughs> You know, I'm going to put on these big this, farmers. This $4 oh, is what? burning a hole in my pocket. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no. That pocket already had no. a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to go and buy a pair of pants. That are, I'm just going to buy these farmer pants, and they're going to be too big and boxy. And I said, yep. Yeah. And I realized I left my wallet back at work, and I came to buy the farmer <laughs> pants. So by the time I got back to work, lunch lunch, lunch break was over. And, I, and you know, so there. That's my low point, Tom. Hey, Dean Marie, you said you were going to go buy pants at lunch. You know what? We're not using last names here. <laughs> I introduced you as Dean Marie. Yeah, well, you, you got introduced us a lot. Your last name was in the opening of this thing. Everyone knows who you, know you are. Now, you know what? Now From I'm print depressed. somewhere. Thank you so much. It took the greatest minute of this movie, which we'll have to talk about <laughs> where do we rent this minute. And I was on a high. I just remembered. Oh, there's a there's a there's a GTO or a Dodge Charger, whatever the fuck it is, in the background behind McTav or McFittish, and I was feeling great. And the Dan says, "Oh, let's play high low. It's a great game I played with the kids." What was your high point and your low point of the day? Mm. Trying to get into my friggin' pants. You didn't mention a high point. No, there were, no, and and and, I, and I'll plead the fifth on it. <laughs> Folks, well, Mike, Mike is spending four dollars on used Dockers, and <laughs> keep in mind this is a free podcast. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Makes you feel a little guilty out there, doesn't it. it? Don't worry about it. I ran three and a half miles today. I'm feeling sharp. Had some Brussels sprouts for dinner. I'm doing fine. Right. I know how to do it. Don't you worry. We'll get you some pants. <laughs> no, you don't need. Let's any have any a pants. PayPal button. And every time it. someone hits the button and donates a dollar, the, yeah. there's a pa- pair of pants, and they puff up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they're gonna. I, <laughs> I'm the guy That's in the after clothes. That's a peach, John. That's a peach. <laughs> I'm the before guy in the after pants. Right. You're the yeah. Thanks. But later for, you'll cheers be. For that. You'll be the before guy in the before pants if you can afford if you can get those pants that you need. That's true. Yeah. Right. So you'll Don't just have some before I'll, pants. So no, wait. No, I'm gonna. No, that was the whole point. You made my point for me. I'm not in the before body. I'm leaning towards the before, okay? Okay. But I went real extreme with the after pants. I was like a hipster. So now I have these. I have the after hipster clothes. I can't fit in them anymore, but I'm still got to wear them because I don't have anything else. So you want to so be I'm the- gonna go. So I said I'm not going to go to Banana Republic where I buy my work clothes and buy bigger clothes. I'm going to go to the to the Goodwill. I'm going to shame myself. I'm going to make myself feel terrible. <laughs> I'm going to go allow myself to buy one pair of really cheap, cheesy, horrifying farmer pants. And I'm going to wear these to make just a, as a reminder. And I couldn't right. even buy them because I didn't have my wallet on me. <laughs> okay. Do you know why you didn't? Do, do you know why? Do you know why you didn't have my wallet on me, uh, Tom? Why? Because the after pants why? are too tight and I can't fit the, the, wall, <laughs> yeah, the, but wallet, the wallet in my egg. back pocket. No, I can't. I can't do it, Larry. I can't do it. <laughs> the wallet gets in the. I can't fucking second carry you wallet. Put that wallet in. You know the little one of those little rivets in the pants. Yeah, they the little, pop. The little they they, pop. The, those, the yeah. second you put the wallet in, the, the woman next to you drops down like the sniper got her. Yeah, because because yeah. one of those things hit her in the temple. <laughs> those rivets that made Levi Strauss famous just come popping off. <laughs> then I just sit at my. Then Ricochet I have to just sit at my chair all day at work. It's a. Don't you want to come with us to lunch? I can't get out of my chair until everybody leaves. I can't. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> I feel I feel a little better about that being your low because you planned to make yourself feel bad. You planned right. you, to guilt but yourself. It's still, but when I was guilty like myself, no, I was guilted. I was going to make myself feel bad. But I was also saying at the end of the day, I have a pair of pants that don't feel like I'm being strangled. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't have that now because I forgot my wallet. I couldn't put it in the back pocket of my pants. You see what I'm saying? It yeah. was a horrifying. Yeah. It wasn't a low point. It was horrifying. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm at the same point I was at this morning when I was go back to try say the, the, the pants don't work. But I, I don't. So tomorrow, so I'm gonna lay in bed and figure out what, what, what am I gonna wear tomorrow? It's really not that bad. Maybe it is. I don't know. God damn it! Now I'm pissed off and depressed all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just laughing my head off. Yeah. I'm a good friend. I'm looking at McFittish and I said, I could use his pants. I could use a <laughs> pair of pants like those. Yeah, I like a pair of pants with a little give in it. A pair of umpire pants. That's what I need. Right. He saw a <laughs> Spackler shirt and he said, I saw that shirt earlier today at the Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like a good pair of like umpire pants that have a nice little give to them. Yeah, they should have a little bit of of stretch or in the undercarriage area. Two percent spandex. For the record, so you don't feel so bad, I gave up a while ago. I, my pants are actually a little Tom, big on Tom. me because I gave up and said, yes, I, Mike? "I don't give up. I won't give up." <laughs> That's the problem. I would love. I would love to give up. I'm not going to give up. I'll be back. You should you know try what? giving up. Yeah, I'll be back. Awesome. I'll be before the end of week. Before we get to the end of this of these minutes, I'll be back. Don't worry All right. about it. All right. That's a nice goal yeah. to set By for By winter, yourself. Mike's going to give up and he's going to sit down like <laughs> Jack McSwin in that, in that snow maze in The Shining. <laughs> yeah, just give up. <laughs> they're going to find him. And somehow it'll be my of, fault. Yeah, they're going to find him at the corner of Addison and Pulaski just <laughs> sitting there. With a sweater on. Angry look on his face. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to say, we'll never get him. We've gotta, first, we've got to thaw him out. And then we've got to figure out how to get these pants off. Yeah. <laughs> These Russell sweatpants. Russell. <laughs> Russell I, 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 I can't afford the Under Armour anymore. <laughs> Just the Russell, the yeah, the old Russell brand. Mike, can I ask you? Did the Dockers have pleats? Were they pleated? I I just I wasn't even looking. I just grabbed and was grabbed and go. Went up to the counter. Said, "God bless it. Don't have my wallet." <laughs> <laughs> You say, I'll come back with the $4, and they go, yeah, we've heard that before. Yeah, we've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> they said, you need a hot meal, son. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let you walk out with the pants, but we do have some good onion soup in the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> they put a blanket around you like they did. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Just come, inside. come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Come in from the cold. <laughs> it's ni- but it's 99 <laughs> degrees outside. Yeah. Coming from the cold. There's no it's shame, brother. Yeah, just right. come in. <laughs> Have a pamphlet. Your pants are bursting at the seams. Let's get you in a double wide. <laughs> and you were like, "Gotta get, gotta get back, gotta get back, gotta, gotta get do back. my potty, my caddy shack man." He's talking crazy. <laughs> He's talking he gibberish. <laughs> no one. One Cat minute at a time. You doesn't make any sense. Poor guy can only afford to buy one minute at a time yeah. of a movie. <laughs> My pants are too tight. They're cutting off the circulation. Yeah. He's not getting <laughs> oxygen in his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I took my, I had my wallet at my desk and I put it in my back pocket. And it wouldn't go in the pocket. <laughs> so I just left it on the gun thing and said, ah, I'll deal with that later. I'll get sad about that later. I don't have time to get sad about that, but that really does suck. <laughs> you maybe just taped, like duct tape the wallet to your butt, to your to the butt. There you go. What's funny Rich. is it sounds like you did go too far in the after yes. direction with yes. the pants. and shirts. Like if you just bought the regular pants, it's not like you're a big heavy I mean, no. dude at no, all. No, let's you're get like that on a, the record for us. Like you're very attractive. I'm very attractive. I'm, I'm broad shouldered. Yes, we're yeah. three thin guys. But see, but I was. I went, I went, I went from where, let's put it in, let's put it in the terms of Banana Republic clothing. Mm -hmm. I went from an extra large regular fit dress shirt, because I wear dress Mm -hmm. shirts, to a large uh, tailored slim fit dress shirt. Right. And the way, and and when Mm -hmm. I was in my heyday about about a year ago, 
it was it was like heaven on earth. You just put it on anything I wanted. Walk out the it door. It feel very it now, feels very streamlined. And now I'm stuck with mm. about ten large tailored slim fit shirts. And I went from a thirty eight pants to the down to the thirty fours. Uh-huh. And I'm stuck now with thirty four pants. Which I can still get into, but it's it's why are it's we touch talking and go. about why the hell are we fucking talking about this? You and your high you I and your God your no, you with. didn't. That son that other son of a bitch <laughs> in, in San Francisco said, Let's play high low. What was your high low point? <laughs> well now you know. Now you know. I bet Mike had now a you know. And on top of it it was like hundred <laughs> degrees today. That sounds nice to So me. a year ago I wasn't sweating anymore. I'm sweating now. You the can't hell was sweat in pants that tight. You can't sweat. You at see all. McFinish like to bring it back yeah. to the minute. That's me today. Just look at McFinish. The sweat. Just sweating and worrying about his job too. Yeah, right. You got. He's yeah. worrying about his job. Just sweating. His head is. His hair is matted down, and there's that goddamn Dodge Challenger in the background just taunting him. <laughs> right. <laughs> you had to buy that golf hat with the pom pom on it with your loose change. Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. didn't leave the Goodwill empty hand. Yeah. Tamashanter. Yeah, Next thing you know, I'll be buying Thank underwear you. at the Goodwill. Interestingly, like, another uh, to bring it back again, uh, Sandy McFinish is played by an actor named Thomas A. Carlin. Hmm. But, he's, he, but then uh, on the IMD page it says, Sandy McFinish as Thomas Carlin. I, oh, <laughs> I, suppose meaning, I suppose meaning he's listed as Thomas Carlin in the credits for this movie, but he's Thomas A. Carlin in all of them. Uh, and everything else, almost like because he did some really very legitimate work. This guy, he did the Pope of Greenwich Village, Ragtime. Yeah, he's been. So, huh. Yeah, yeah. So maybe he just thought I'll do Caddyshack, but don't list me as Thomas Carlin, not Thomas A. Carlin. <laughs> I'll use a pseudonym, and I'll I'll yeah. uh, and I'll make myself a different nationality, so no one can tell it's me. Yeah, acting. Yep. That's acting. And Wang is played by Wang is played by an actor named Doctor Dow. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Wang. We're getting ahead of ourselves now, so we got to. Yeah. We got to. We're getting we ahead gotta, of ourselves. We got to pull it back. Point that finger at yourself, Mike. Mm. Chubby finger. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Tom. <laughs> hey, I'm shaped like a potato. I can't. Uh, I'm not making. I'm not. Anything, a, I'm not. I'm fingerling. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna go dig up some old medication now. I I know what you mean, Mike. I got. I think I went to. <laughs> I've got a couple pairs of pants where I, I never went for the full skin tight hipster thing, but I had the slim. No, I pants. wasn't either. But I. I but yeah, I got I wanted the a slim couple fit. that are just. I got one in particular that's just. It was. I went a little too far. You know what? It. Let me you guys stop you there. Too close I, to I, the no, sun. Gotta, You're just like Icarus. I got to. You know what? And I got to stop in there. I went out to visit him in San Francisco, right when I was in the middle of my, of my when, when I was in my reduction phase. Mm-hmm. And we went. We went to that uh, Oaklandish store to buy a T-shirt, and I bought it. I, I grabbed an extra large. And he said, "You buy your shirts. You are you always buy your shirts too big." I said, "You know what? You're right." And I went and grabbed a large, and I never looked back. back Dan, I never looked back. Right. Now I got a, a wardrobe full of of larges. He's looking back right and I'm now. I'm struggling. <clears throat> and I'm, 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 but I'm going to get back there. Knocking on wood right now. You will hear that. Keep doing that. It's a good exercise. There. You're knocking on four oh, mica very clearly. <laughs> no, this is wood. Wood burns more calories. Keep knocking on wood. All right. We've got to shut this minute down. Yeah, we gotta... <laughs> I'm gonna myself we've to depressed sleep. Mike. Uh, no. And we've entertained no one. i gotta go put, I got to go listen to some stand-up on, on YouTube to make myself there you go. before I fall asleep. Just when All Mike right. thinks that the, uh, the he's going to have the minute of his life. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, yeah, it's like you got to play the high low game. The horrors. <laughs> we yeah. played the high low game, and I immediately went back to the, the the goodwill without a wallet. It's like there's no high part <sighs> of the high low game. Yeah. <laughs> Come inside and have some soup, young man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the high point when they put the Afghan around him and said, like, "This way." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come out of the back. Slap a tamashanter on his head. <laughs> yeah. For warmth. All right. Well, listen, guys. All right, mm-hmm. we did a good job. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, and we'll discuss another minute of Caddyshack, and hopefully by then Michael have his goddamn act together, or something. All right, I will. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll be a pound down. Uh, pounding down, just like Carl Spackler. Thank you. Um, right. Thank you all for listening. Please donate so Mike can buy some pants. 
We love no, you all. No, no, I won't <laughs> buy them. I will not buy big pants. I will not. I will not spend money on bigger pants all because right. I'm better than that. I just I'm feel better like... than that, Tom. I no, believe you. I'm better than that. So the only pants I will allow myself are farmer pants from uh, from the Goodwill. All right. Fair I can't even like pull. Fleets, I can't even get. But I can't even get that done because I can't put my. I understand that. Just a little bit of pleat, <laughs> just to give you a little breathing room. Yeah. Two percent spandex. In the gun. Ninety-eight percent denim. Two percent spandex. <laughs> a little extra give. That's what. That's that's the formula for me. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, they don't carry that at the Goodwill. You got to pay top dollar for that stuff. So. Until then, I'm going to go get a size 40 and, and tie a, and, and instead of a belt, I'm just going to use a rope. There you go. Like, uh, like, like, like baby Huey. <laughs> and I'm going to walk around like that until I get back. I will not spend more than $4 on a pair of pants until I'm back in business. That's a good plan. No, it's not. That's but it's the plan for me. I'm trying to support you. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, buck you up. <laughs> I heard that's how uh, Andrew Carnegie made all of his money. Yeah. By refusing to buy a new pair of pants until he was back in business. <laughs> you don't get rich by spending money on pants. Right. That, that was his uh, slogan. As they and say. Put that on a right. t-shirt. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. And sell that t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. He, he, that that slogan became very popular. He almost put his friend J.C. Penny out of business completely. <laughs> <laughs> Although back then, $4 yeah, for thought... a pair of pants was astronomical. No. It was. No. All right. No. We got to end All this. Right. Yep. You come in here with your fancy <laughs> shoes and your $4 pants. <laughs> you think you're going to buy this town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you goons. We'll see you next time. God right. bless. Stay well. Good night. I will kill myself. <laughs> I don't mean that. No, I should not say that. That's terrible to say. I'm going to go. I'm going to go better myself. Just, just I'll beat be up on yourself and we'll talk to you next week. Hey, you scratch my ankle! <laughs>